In this video, I will show you how to use AI or artificial intelligence to turn speech into text and how you can do it with a free method. At the end of this video, I will show you a much simpler method, which is a freemium model offered by one of the companies available online. What we will use is Whisper from OpenAI, the same company that created ChatGPT. It is available for use for free, so let's get started. So the first thing that you need to do is to install some files. We will install some files into your Google Drive and the files are safe, all right? And uh, GitHub is a repository where software developers upload their code for people to see and to use. The first thing that you need to do is have a Google Drive account. Click on New, go to More, go to Connect More Apps. Look for Collaboratory. Click on that. You'll see a logo like this. Click on this to install this. Click on yes and sign into Google Collaboratory. Click on continue and you are ready to go. It will take a few moments for Google to install this and it is it's done. Just click on OK and done and you can close this screen. So next, what you want to do is click on new Go to more, go to Google Collaboratory. Next, we're going to insert some code. Basically, you are just copy and pasting three lines of code into Collaboratory. This is the first line, which is pip install GitHub something something. Put it into this line. Just click on this start button to get it started. It will take about a minute or two to install this. The process has stopped by looking at the screen over here. So it took a, a slightly over a minute. So next, we will click on the code again. And next, we will copy this second line of code, which is to install FFMPEG. So this took just a few seconds, but it depends on the time that you use it. If there's a lot of people using Collaboratory, it might be slower. Next, we will rename this. And next, click on Runtime and change Runtime Type. Change it to GPU. Just click on Save. Next, you're going to open up this folder to upload your file. Now, I suggest that you use your audio files that has been cleaned up as much as possible. Maybe you want to reduce all the background noise and level it so that it makes it easier for Whisper to transcribe your audio. I'm just going to upload this file. Just drag it here and upload this. Now, give you a warning that says that your files are saved elsewhere and these files will be deleted. So make sure you keep your original files on your computer. So once it's done, you will see this file over here. Uh, my file is JetBeam LED and Next, we will use code again. Whisper is now uh, translating it. As you can see, Whisper AI has actually converted the speech into text and you can look them up over here and you also have the time spent stamps of this. And over on the left, you can download the .srt file if you want to or the edited txt if you want to as well. Right? So let's just go and download this. This is English and save it. So this is the full transcription of the file in English. Whisper AI can also do this in different languages. Let's go to hit code again. We will copy this line again and paste it here. And Whisper AI will translate this into Malay. If you download this, it will be in the Malay language. 
Now, when I use this code with uh, Google Collaborator, there are some hiccups along the way. Sometimes the code doesn't run properly. I'm not sure why, but when I reinstall the code again, copying exact uh, lines of code that I've given at the links in the description, the code works. You have to be careful about that. Now, if you don't do that much transcription or transcribing, then perhaps this other website, which also uses the Whisper code to do the speech to text, might be a better option for you. The site is called Turboscribe, so just look for turboscribe.ai and it allows you to three transcription free per month, up to half an hour long for each transcription. However, if you use a lot, then you need to pay either $10 per month or 120 bill uh, yearly, right? So I've actually translated this as well. This is the, the exact file that I uploaded to Collaborator. However, with DoubleScribe, it is much faster and you also get a PDF, Document X, SRT files or TXT files. Now I can also translate it to another language. So let's try and translate this. Let's translate it to Malay again. Using Turboscribe, the process is much faster because it's transcribing from the English text into Malay, whereas using Collaborator, it is transcribing the exact original audio into the Malay text. So I hope that this video helps you. If you like it, do give it a thumbs up. I hope that you give either Collaborator or Turboscribe a go and see which one do you prefer more. Check out what's on the screen right now to, where you can use AI to enhance other parts of your life.